I got something super interesting over here. Oh, whoa, that's definitely so, not even yeah. American, is it? Oh, I'm gonna guess some kind of German coin with I mean, that's, the, that's what the I double was eagle like that. What? 50? Oh, 18? it's 1858. I think that's probably the oldest coin that we've ever found. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Quinn's Coins, your home for treasure hunting of all kinds. If you'll remember about a year and a half ago, we opened a 40-year-old box of pennies, which had absolutely insane finds in it. Probably the best box of pennies that we've ever opened. Well, it just so happens that there was actually a second box with that first box, and we're going to be opening that today. So about two years ago, these two boxes were sent to us by a fan named David, and here's a letter that he sent us, and you can go ahead and pause the video and read his story here. To quickly recap the story, David picked this box up in a hoard that somebody had dropped off at the bank of about $300 worth of all copper pennies. Then after going through a couple of the boxes and realizing that these finds were absolutely amazing, he was generous enough to send us two of these boxes so that we could go through them as well. So here's the box that we're opening today and we have really high expectations for this box. If you guys remember about a year and a half ago, we posted the first box and the finds were absolutely incredible. There were tons of wheat pennies and every single roll we found an Indian and like some really old foreign coins. So some really high expectations for this box as well. And you can see just looking at the rolls, everything is super old. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and divide the rolls up 25 a piece and jump right in. Well, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> Is that on camera? I think it was, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. seeing a lot of wheat pennies, so yeah. unexpected um, start. <laughs> so I just picked up one of the rolls I was pulling out of the box, and it just exploded. These rolls are extremely old, they're extremely fragile, <laughs> and um, I think this is a good start. We have, looks like, plenty of wheats in the mix here. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing wheat ears galore. They're Ooh, all this. over the place. Super shiny. Yeah, right? very nice uh, shiny copper 81 right there. Nothing... Uh, older than 1982 in these rolls and you can see that thing just exploded. It basically disintegrated in your hands. Yep. And this roll said, what did that say? 1919? No oh, 69. Oh, 69. Yeah, there's a lot of dates on these rolls and just like last box, they don't really correlate to what's actually in the rolls. Not at all. But it's super interesting to see what this guy had written on these rolls, 1940. Yeah. And I really love this actually, uh, these rolls in particular. Yeah. North Jersey National Bank. Bank. Uh, in the last video that I did on these, people corrected me, made sure that I know that that's not Greenwich, it's Greenwich, Connecticut. Oh. But these are awesome rolls. It looks like Kevin's already getting a head start over here. Before here. 44 looking real nice and uh, I love the patina on that by the way. Look at all these weeds. This is crazy. Yeah. This is just it's... what fell out of the roll. I mean. <laughs> so that kind of gives you an idea of what's to come here. Yeah. Uh, I think I should probably open a roll myself though to yeah. catch up. But before I do that I figure I should probably explain the little game that we're going to be playing as we go through the rolls today. So we have our Quinn's Coins coin roll hunting competition hunt score sheet here. You can see all the different point values for the different types of coins. For example, wheat pennies from the 40s and 50s are worth 5 points. From the 10s, 20s, and 30s are worth 10 points. And you have a bunch of different other stuff that you could find here with all the different point values. We also have the additional Canadian score sheet. There may be some Canadians in these rolls. I think I remember finding a couple, plus some also very interesting foreign coins out of the last box. So we'll be looking out for those as well. And then once we get down to the end of the box, whoever has the most points wins. So just some first impressions from this first roll. Um, everything is copper. The newest penny I found so far is in 1981, and this is a brand new penny. That's a mint state coin. Um, just nine wheats in the first roll. I say just nine wheats, but that's a uh, as if I remember correctly, that's pretty light actually. Nine wheats, uh, nothing really special. We got 40s and 50s, but um, yeah, it's always nice to see nine wheats in a, in a single roll. Yeah, so I think with this competition hunt, you can see we're finding wheats galore already. Uh, we're gonna probably do some tallies on the uh, common wheats at the end, and then as we find some special wheats as we go through, we'll probably put those on the score sheet. We got our score sheet right here to keep track of how we're doing. And uh, since Kevin just got done with his first roll unexpectedly, I think I'm gonna go ahead and open my first roll over here. So let's uh, get into one of those North, North Jersey National Bank rolls. This one is labeled 1956. Of course, we know that uh, none of those labels really mean anything. I'm gonna see if I can try and preserve this roll because these are extremely cool in my opinion. So let's just take a look here and see what we're gonna get out of our first one. Obviously some wheat pennies coming out right off the bat. We got a 1958 right there. Let's do a zoom here so you guys can take a little better look. So there's a 58, a 1950, so it's just a bunch of common wheats so far. Let's keep moving through the roll and see what else we can find here. I'm not seeing as many as Kevin had really? over there, at least not yet. I do see a 1950 once again right there. Now this one actually looks like it could be a little bit older. Let's take a look at that one up close here. It could be maybe older, no, 46. So it was in the 40s, but not pre-40. That's what we're really after. There's a 1952 right there. 
Moving along here, we got another Wheat Penny showing right there. That is also a 1950, our third 1950 on the roll. It looks like we're up to six wheats now, so maybe you're on right about the same track as uh, Kevin was in his first roll. And getting down to the end of it now, let's see if we can beat his score of nine wheats on the first roll. There's a 56 right there, that brings us one closer. Getting down to the end of it now though, I don't think we're gonna be able to, and there is our fourth 1950. I got a total of, looks like eight wheats on my first roll. So you are already in the lead, my friend. Yeah, I think the best way to do this is just gonna be making piles of like each decade of wheats and then totaling them up at the end. Cause there's so many fines, we're never gonna keep up. I agree. I remember the last time we made uh, stacks of five on the wheats and right. then just counted them yeah. that way. So I'll go ahead and do that. We got a stack of five right there. I'll put it up here in the front and then we're working another stack right here. And uh, we'll put the discards into another pile and move on to the next roll. All right, looks like Kevin got the first pre-40s wheat penny. That's going to count for more points, so make sure oh. to leave that one out of the pile. And I got another one. Really? So in this second, so my second roll, uh -huh. I got a 1937 and 1939. Pretty wow. good looking coins, too. Yeah. And then I got some other various sweets. I haven't flipped this one over yet. Let's see if we can get a little reveal here on camera. Yeah, that looks like it could be older. 47. Yeah, 47. Right, yep. So okay. yep, here's a 50. So yep, all kinds of wheats coming out. All right, yeah, that's a definitely a good start. You got two 10 point coins right there. Another one, 36. Are you serious? Again, yeah. All right, well, or at this point, <laughs> yeah, they're coming out left and right. I definitely remember this from the last yeah. one. That is amazing. I'm going to get into my second roll here. Kevin's already got three pre 40s wheat pennies over there. That is absolutely insane. Hopefully, we can get at least one out of this roll right here. So let's jump right into it. That's our first coin right there. It actually does look somewhat promising. Let's see if we can get one here. That looks older. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, Kevin. 1929. I got really? you beat as far as old coins goes. Wow. And we'll see if that's on either the low mintage or key date list. I think some of the 29s are. So we got our low mintage list right here. 29 Denver is on that one, and then it doesn't look like we have any 29s in the key date range. But that is still going to be a 10 point coin. And let's go ahead and continue with the roll. Definitely some wheat pennies showing out here right on the very edge. So we got a 51 Denver right there. There is another one right there, which has some interesting toning on that uh, reverse side. It's an, just another 1950 though. So we'll keep moving through this guys. And uh, I'll let you know the next time that we find a really cool coin. All right, Kevin, do you know how many wheats you got on that last roll? Um, and it was eight or nine again. Jeez, yeah, man. so pretty consistently. Yeah, you're definitely beating me at this point because I was only able to get six from the 40s and 50s and then I was also able to get that 1929. Unfortunately, that doesn't count for any more than Kevin's uh, 1930s wheat pennies. <laughs> so we'll just keep going here. Hopefully we can catch up soon. And I did just happen to find two more 1930s. <laughs> Are you serious? Let's check this out. So these have all been from Philadelphia so far. It'd be nice to find some branch mints, but I got another 1937 and a 1934 right there. That's pretty beat up. That was uh, heavily circulated back in the Great Depression, looks like. Oh, I got a 1955 here. We can check it for the poor man's double die because it's definitely not the uh, regular double die. But uh, I don't know. I, I'm not really seeing much on that one. Don't see those 55s too often, though, so it's kind of cool to see come out. It's a poor, poor man's double die. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get something else here. I definitely have some catching up to do at this point. Everything seems to be coming out of the 50s for me. This one looks like it has been through an acid bath. That is a, a very light colored <laughs> 1958 Denver. Let's switch this camera on over to Kevin's side and uh, see what he is getting over here. So first of all, I just want to point out that there are a ton of Mint State 1981 cents coming out of these rolls. I'm thinking yeah. That was the year that these were either rolled or maybe a couple years after, but yeah. tons of uh, early 80 mint state coins. Um, what I wanted to show was this wheat scent that I just had pop out. It's oh, even got a little nice. toning to it, yeah. but definitely some nice original luster going on there. Let's see what date we got. Whoa. Okay, yeah, 1946. I was expecting 50 something, so that's a nice little surprise. Yeah, typically when you flip a coin over that looks like that, it's a 58. Yeah. And uh, nothing better. I got a pretty nice. Uh, Toned 72 over here. There are a ton of 72s. Yeah. I've been checking them all for that double day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a nice toning on that one for sure. Did get one more at 1939 Philadelphia. Wow. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. Uh, not over here. I still only have no. one, from, one from 1929. No 30s, nothing else. Oh, look at that. Very nice wheat penny coming out over here. Oh, wow. Similar to the one that you got. This might be, actually be a little bit better, though. What do you think? Look at that toning. 
Yeah. So, got the full cartwheel going on. I don't know. I can't really get it to work, but maybe you could. You got we'll it. Go ahead and flip it over and see what we get for the date. Three, two. And one. That is exactly what I was talking about earlier. It's a 1958. Oh, yeah. So that's, yep. that's typically what you expect when you see a really nice looking uh, wheat penny like that on the reverse. But uh, that's definitely the best one I've found so far. It's a very nice shiny coin. We'll see what else we can get here, guys. I am hoping for an Indian head in this box. We did get one in the last box, along with some other really awesome coins. So. Hopefully this one is just as good, if not better. 1927. Are you serious? Got the new record in the box. I'm oh. sure it'll be beaten, but yeah, there we probably. go. Probably. <laughs> nice little circulated Lincoln scent. Plenty of wheats coming out of this roll, too. Let's see what else we got here. 72, like I said, tons of 72s. No double die there. Uh, 54, looks like. You're kicking my butt over there. Yeah, we have to add some of these points up here. Yeah, we gotta do a check, I think, in the, on the next roll. Oh, here's a couple 82s, so. Yep. Pushing the date back. What's this? Ooh, that's what old. we got here? Looks old. Looks like 1934. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, okay, guys. I think I may have just beat the record uh -oh. for the oldest, and I'm not even sure if we're gonna get a date. This thing is super, super slick. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, the camera doesn't even know how to focus on it because it, there's really no details to show. I think. We just pulled ourselves a 1913. That is my best really? guess. Yeah. Any Either that mark? or a 19. No, it's definitely a three. I see the separation over there on the left side. So we got ourselves a 1913 right there. I'm not seeing a mint mark on it, but that does make that the new oldest coin out of this box. You can see how fantastically slick that thing is. You can hardly make out any details on it. Wow. But that is definitely the oldest coin we found so far. Still just worth 10 points though. All right, so this roll is definitely uh, doing a lot better for me. As you can see, there's quite a few wheats in here. I think I'll, I'll give you a, a tally in a second here, but there's some really nice looking ones over here at the end, like for this, for example. Not as nice as the next one I'm about to show you, but look at that. It's still a little bit of a, uh, uh, a toning left on that coin. 1948 is the date and it looks absolutely amazing. And then take a look at this one. This is probably gonna be a little bit younger, I would suspect, probably in the 50s. Let's flip it over, reveal the date. Yeah, 1952 Denver, also looking very, very nice. That is the benefit of going through 40 year old rolls. You get some really nice looking hmm. older coins. I got something super interesting over here. Really? Oh, whoa, that's definitely so, not even yeah. American, is it? <laughs> this is gonna be our first interesting foreign coin. I think you found a Canadian earlier, but wow, this is light. I don't even know yes. what we're looking at here. Whoa. Oh, I'm gonna guess some kind of German coin with I mean, that's, the, that's the what double I was eagle like that. Yeah. Um, I have no idea the, about the date though. Let's see what we got. What? 50? Oh, 1858? it's 1858? I thought it was 19. So did I. Wait. <laughs> what? What? Wow. I, wow. I'm speechless. <laughs> 1858. That's got to be German, right? I mean, it looks German to me. What's Maybe the... Austrian? I don't know. I don't even want to try to announce that. But... K. K. Dester. Yeah, it looks German to me. That's all I can say. I... 1858, though? That's a flying eagle. I think that's probably the oldest coin that we've ever found. I... Coin roll hunting. Period. Yeah, probably. <laughs> one, what would this be? Like one mark, maybe? And as soon as I saw that date, I was like, could this be a gold coin? Oh. But I don't think so. No, it doesn't it's look super light. I think it's yeah. copper. Okay. It's almost the exact same size. Man, that it is, is the exact same size as a penny. Wow. So I guess that's how it ended up in a roll like that. I don't know why somebody would put that in a roll, but right? that's that's amazing. I wonder what the A means. I know it's, it's got to be a mint mark, but... All right, well, we'll look up the information on that, put it on the screen for you so that you can see exactly what this coin is and approximately what it's going to be worth. Uh, we'll be looking at that after the fact, but that is an amazing find, Kevin. Nice work on that. I was not expecting that. I mean, just looking at it, it looks like a modern coin. I was expecting like 1960 something. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I should say though, in the last box we had, we had some older foreign coins yeah. from the 1920s. I don't think anything got into the 1800s. Though. No, definitely not. So that is definitely an amazing find. Like you said, you're not really going to find anything like that in the U.S. Like you could potentially, because you have the poten uh, the potential of finding a flying eagle scent but even those have such a thick rim they would probably be rejected by any coin roll uh, coin rolling machine and uh, I think anybody would probably know better not to put a flying eagle scent into a coin roll but I have seen it happen before I really don't think you're gonna be able to beat that as far as age goes all right I finally got myself another older wheat penny gonna be worth 
10 points, if not more. Let's take a look at the date. Another 1929. Oh, you got something better? Just as you said that, I flipped over. Yeah, let's see. Here, you can just take it. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see what Kevin got. Apparently, he's got something better. Yeah, well, you know what? That's it's, about the same. It's a very common coin, but it, it counts the same. As far as old wheat pennies go, I mean, obviously, old wheat pennies aren't common to find well, in Well, I got something else here. Do you? Oh, that looks okay. Russian. Let's take a look at this, guys. You're gonna get. I mean, you've set the bar pretty high <laughs> at this point, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to beat 1858. First of all, I did just find a 1938, so another 10 Let's points to cancel out whatever Ryan just found. Who, who even cares about that? <laughs> Anyways, um, this is what I'm looking at here. So I haven't seen any more than this, but right off the bat, I'm saying Russian. Oh, that wow. is definitely an older coin once again. 1927. Wow. I don't even know what country yet. It's not even a one 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 denomination coin. It's a it, two. It's two fillers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe filler. I don't know. BP. Like the the, the gas company. Station. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, Sponsoring this video. I'm not by sure if BP. that was around. I don't know if that was around back then, but. Magyar Kralzig. <laughs> Kralzig. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice try on that one. That's awesome, though. I can't believe that. I, I'm really hoping I can get something like that That's as super well. Cool. We got a nice little uh, foreign collection going on here now. Yeah. All right, there we go. We finally got ourselves another uh, older wheat penny here. Let's take a look at the date. It's in 1935. So once again, pretty common as far as older wheat pennies go, but uh, still worth some points for us. So I'll definitely look, take it. Look at this toning. Kevin just pulled this one out. He told me that I should take a look at the toning. Have you taken a look at the year on it yet? No. Okay, let's flip it over and see what you got there. Uh, it's just a 1950s, pretty nasty looking coin. Probably the worst wheat penny that we've seen come out <laughs> so far, but uh, still going to give you some points. I'm seeing a 1930s over here, guys. So once again, we're going to be getting ourselves Whoa. some more points. And we got a 1929. And I got something better. Does, I feel like this always happens in this video. Okay, go ahead and show them. I, I didn't see much going on over here other than the 39 and the 29. So Guys, I had to take a double take on this coin. So you might not be able to see it, but it's right here. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I saw it. As when I saw the date, I was like, no way. That's actually what the date is because it's such a nice coin, at least from that. Yeah, wow. it is a nice coin. Yeah. Guys, that's a 1910 Philadelphia. The second year Lincoln wheat pennies were made. Still got some details on the reverse as well, and you just beat my oldest American <laughs> coin as well. So there's really no way to beat that uh, unless we get a 1909, which yep. we've never done before. Uh, I literally thought I just had one there. It's just a 1969. <laughs> uh, or, you know, then we'd be back into the Indian head pennies, which also ended in 1909. So that's what we have to do in order to beat the oldest American coin coming out. Kevin has the lead on that. He also has the lead on the oldest coin overall. So this one's definitely not looking too great for me. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I might have something here, guys. I just uh, cracked into this roll, and this one looks a lot thinner. What do you think, Kevin? You seeing the one I'm looking at? Um, No. <laughs> so this one right here, you see? A lot thinner. Oh, you right? think it's foreign? Uh, no, not anymore. It's a 75. Oh. Well, how is that so thin, though? That is definitely not normal. Let's see if we're going to get something crazy come out. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, okay. I, th I thought oh, we that's had... Old. Wait. I thought we had an Indian head. Sorry, guys. It was, it was off focus here. I thought we had an Indian, but it uh, looks like it's just going to be... That's teens. Yeah, it's got to be. An old uh, wheat penny here. So let's take a look at this. Very slick looking. Not a whole lot of detail on it. The biggest telltale is the rims. Look how thick they are. Right, right. All right. So let's go ahead and flip this over and reveal the date, guys. Hopefully we can get a key date and pull ahead. Three, two, one. Ah, it's not a key date, but it is. Teens, just like you said, 1919 yeah. is the year on that. Also pretty good looking, about as uh, good shape as that 1910 that Kevin pulled earlier. So I'm happy about that. I think that's a good sign for the roll. Let's keep going and see what else we can get. All right, we just pulled a 1938. I'm going to be 10 more points right there. 37, 34. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> 37 and 34 right next to each other. Right on top of each other, right after you got your 30s. That is Let's unbelievable. See. Yep, 37, 34. I swear, every time I find something good, Kevin one ups it. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Kevin, how are you doing this? This is silver, too. It looks silver. <laughs> it definitely is. I, I is think that, I know what this is. This is. Um, is it foreign silver? So you can see what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, let's zoom in here. Mm -hmm. So 
The folks at home can see it as well. That looks like foreign silver to me. I think it's a three pence from Canada. All right, maybe not. I don't know. What? I'm not too familiar with foreign. Are you serious? 1923. Uh, that's it's not Canadian. Oh, it's uh, it's Great, it's, Great Britain. Yeah, it's either British or Australian, something like that. But it's gotta be silver. It is. It be. is light though. Yeah, it's super just, it's small. A small coin. Yeah, it's gotta be silver. 1920. That has to be King George V. Three pence. We'll go ahead and put up on the screen. Yeah, look at that. It's quite and, the collection I got going here. <laughs> unbelievable. I have zero foreign coins so far, and not even as many wheat pennies. It's crazy. Yeah. You got the first silver. Who knew there was gonna be silver <laughs> in a roll of pennies? That's awesome. There's a nice little wheat penny. 1935. Good looking coin. Another ten point coin that Ryan's gonna have to catch up to now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 1950 and 1957 to finish out the roll. That was a lot of weeds in one roll. We got two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, these aren't weeds. <laughs> Wait. I don't know what those are. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. All right, Plus well, the three <laughs> I will go ahead and take that camera back from you now because I think I might actually have something pretty cool here, guys. This looks like it's going to be an older wheat penny. Let's see if we can beat 1910. I don't think we've ever found a 1909 before. We actually have a special classification for it on uh, the score sheet. There were 20 points instead of uh, the regular 10. So let's take a look. Hopefully we can get one here. That is the coin right there. Very slick, very difficult to tell any details on it. Probably gonna be at least in the teens. Let's flip it over and see. Three, two, one. Okay, what do we have? It looks like a zero. I'm thinking 1920. Yep, it is a 1920, just like the one you found earlier. Maybe in a little worse shape, though, okay. unfortunately. So well, it's going to be another 10-point coin, somewhat common amongst those uh, older wheats. But we'll keep moving here and see what else we can get. Got anything over there? I had eight wheat pennies come out of that roll, 140 and 750s. So. Oh. Pretty uh, boring roll for this box. Yeah, definitely. I think I might have one over here that uh, is going to look older once again. So just like last roll, we got a uh, nice slick looking wheat back here. Let's go ahead and zoom in and try to reveal that date live for you. I'm thinking probably another teens. Let's take a look. Three, two, one. Uh, it's not a teens. 1935, though, is going to be worth just as many points. Although that wasn't really uh, no key dates or low mintage or anything like that. But uh, once again, another high value coin right there. Definitely plenty more wheat in this roll. So let's go ahead and just go through it real quick. Just in case anything comes out other than uh, your standard wheat pennies. We got another 50 right there, 51. So many wheat pennies coming out. There's an 81. This looks like it could be an older wheat penny as well. Let's take a look at this one. Hoping for a 10s or a 20s on that. Let's take a look guys. Three, two, one. Ooh, what, what is, is that? that? Yeah, I think it's a 35. Looks like the one I found, that 50s with all the blue stuff on yeah. it. Yeah, uh, that's definitely a 35, and I don't see a mint mark, so... I got something over here I think you're going to like, Ryan. Is that right? Where is it? Right here. I'm actually hiding it. Oh, you're hiding it. Okay, let's <laughs> yeah. take a look. So I think I know what this is, but I'm not 100% certain. It's another old foreign coin, don't so... Me. Are so, you kidding me? So brace yourself here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you know what that is? I see a wreath. Oh, uh, I, I would have I, totally okay. thought that that was an Indian head penny. I thought it was Canadian. Well, it must no, not be it, it's not okay. Canadian, but it looks it very looks old. super old. I'm going to guess guess a date. All right. Uh, I'm going to go 1897. Okay. Let's, let's count it down when we flip this one. 1885. All right. Three, two, one. How does it flip? Whoa. <laughs> 1878 is the date. I guess you were closer than me. <laughs> Netherlands. Oh my unbelievable. goodness. Yeah, so we can actually tell what that one is. I've seen the, the insignia there before. Okay. 1878 is the date. We'll go ahead and put some inf information up on the screen for you so you can see approximately what that's going to be worth. It's not something that I keep in the back of my head, unfortunately, but uh, that is amazing, Kevin. That is four old foreign coins for you. I'm a zero. <laughs> I'm just more than curious as to how these coins got in here. It must have been a collection. Yeah. From this this guy who dropped these boxes off, or why would he put these in there? I have no idea. But no that's, sense. that's all I can think. I mean, they're super cool. I'm glad to have them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just looked all the same to him. I don't. Yeah. I don't understand how the silver one squeaked its way. Yeah. Through. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, that's. I was just about to open the roll, and then Kevin's like, "Oh, take a look over here." All right, let's see what you got. You can do that one. Yeah. Wow. 
Probably the shiniest one we've had come out so far. That's got to be 58. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, let's just see. Yeah, 57. 57, yeah. Close enough. Pretty nice looking. Uh, mint state wheat penny. penny right there. All right, let's break into our next roll. And I think I should remind you guys, Kevin is actually one roll ahead, so that's why he's fine. Yeah. Rows. I'm sure I'm going to pull four of them out of this roll right now, so... Uh, come with me and see what comes out. Yeah, four old foreign coins, yeah. maybe an Indian head as well. Come on. That's what we need, basically, at this point. All right, so we got an older-looking wee penny right off the bat. Let's uh, do a quick zoom here and see if we can get something old yeah, right here. Let's flip it over. And, yeah, we got something older, so that's a good sign. Let's see what uh, the year is going to be on that one. 1927. I'm going to check the list, make sure that's not... Uh... So we see the 27 Denver... And 27 San Francisco here is on our low mintage list. The 27 Philadelphia, unfortunately, is not on either of those lists. So it's just going to be worth 10 points for us. But that's okay. We still got plenty of coins to go through here, guys, as we try to catch up. And actually, we're going to be doing a point check here in just a second. So once we get through maybe this one and one more, then uh, we will check the points. How many are you at over there, Kevin? I have 13 rolls left, so we'll do this one last one. All right, so you'll do that one. I will do probably two more after this, and uh, then we'll do a point check. I just actually grabbed a 1929, so happy about that. We got a, uh, I think we had something older earlier. I don't even remember now. This one definitely looks older, Kevin. Look at this. You can hardly make out anything on that. Oh, thing. wow. All right, so, so this is a good roll for us so far. What do we got under it? 1950, so nothing crazy. Put that 29 over with our other nicer uh, old coins. Wow, that I'm not even sure we'll be able to get a year off of that. It's super, super thin. All right, let's take a look, guys. Three, two, one. Wow. That might be, uh, I'm going to say 16. Really? Either 16 or 26. You want to take a look at it? Yeah. Here, you want to take a look at this? Yeah, quick? sure. Is this, you just found this one? Yeah, see if you find something there interesting. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I do. I think I see what you are getting at. Yeah. So it's on that second five, right? Yep. And we are looking for a poor man's double die. This isn't the infamous uh, double die, which is probably the easiest error to spot. This is the poor man's. And uh, I feel like I'm not getting a very good angle of it. Yeah, there's a little bit better. That's definitely a cool one to find. I think you've found one of those before, haven't you? Yeah, yep. they're not super rare. You can find them. Okay. Yeah, if you keep your eye open. But yeah, that's awesome. Nice find on that one. And uh, yeah, let me know on the year on that one over there. I just gave him a super slick coin. Have you seen the same thing <laughs> I'm seeing over there? I actually, I actually think it's uh, 36. 36? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I, I was seeing the 6 for sure. Let me bring yeah, it over here. I think yeah, I, it is a 6. You get a little sure. better lighting over here, I think. So there I is... Try to get a side profile here. Yeah. Yeah, definitely seen the six. It's got to be older, though. Let's let's just count that. Okay. I could use it for sure. All right, we'll go ahead and get into the next roll and see what else we can get. All right, we just got ourselves a 1927 while Kevin is taking a break over there because he got ahead a little bit. I will definitely take it. We're going to be doing our point check right after this roll is completed. And there we just got a 1935, so another 10-point coin. You're catching up. Yeah, definitely happy about that. Some 50s coming out as well. Let's see what else we can pull out of this last roll where we're about to hit the halfway mark. That's when we're going to be doing our uh, point check just to see where we're at. I'm sure Kevin will be quite a ways ahead. I might not and be that far ahead. You have a lot of early, well, the teens count for more than the 20s and 30s, right? No, the teens are the same as oh, the are 20s they really? and 30s. So okay. I don't think it's going to be, uh, that's not going to make a huge difference. I have yeah. found a lot more 20s and 10s uh, recently though. So they, I don't know, it'll be close. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and tally up our points so far and see where we're at. All right, guys, so I don't know what kind of math Kevin is doing <laughs> over here because it's taken him a while, but check this out. I got our my 40s and 50s wheat pennies right here. These are stacks of five, so that's 25 a piece, and uh, four in a row is 100. So we got 100, 200, 300, 400 points. There is 425, 430, 435, and 440. Now coming over here to the 10s, 20s, and 30s. These are also in stacks of five, but there were 10 a piece. So this is going to be another 100 right here. So that brings us up to 540, and then we got. Uh, six more here, so that's going to be an extra 60 points. That actually brings us up to exactly 600 points. And then we have a nice toned 1972 right over here. K 
Kevin just has all this stuff spread out over here. He put this complicated equation on the paper, and what did that come out to? Uh, if I did everything correctly, which I may or may not have done, I wasn't the greatest math student, <laughs> um, I came up to 573, so it looks like you're actually ahead of me. Okay, so it looks like I may actually be ahead, guys. I'll go ahead and double check Kevin's math, and uh, we'll see if that's actually the case. So 125... 250, 275, 300, 325, and then these are three more stacks, mm -hmm. so that's 400. So you got 400 in that stuff, and then you got an extra 100 right there, so that's 500, 520, 540, 550, 555, 560, 565 plus eight. All right guys, so we determined that Kevin's math did check out. Somehow I am ahead, and I think the reason for that is probably because this is actually a numbers game. When it comes to our Quinn's Coins coin roll hunting competitions, it's not the quality of the coins that you find, it's how many you find. They don't ask how, they ask how many. This scoring system doesn't really account for a box like this that has some really cool items that it are does. just foreign and like super old, like the four foreign coins I found, which are all unique and very cool, those are eight points in total. Right. So <laughs> that's yeah. the problem because every foreign coin is worth two points. We don't have a way to differentiate between the super old foreign coins. So that's where you just get the eight points. If we were to differentiate, I'm sure you would be ahead though. All right, guys, so a little over halfway through this amazing box, we have a score of 600 for Ryan or Quinn and 573 for Kevin. Definitely unexpected results there. Uh, but that is a very cool thing to see. We are definitely on track to get a thousand points apiece, so hopefully that happens, and uh, we'll see what the resulting score is at the end of the box. And that is going to do it for part one. Stay tuned for part two when we go through the second half of this box. You've seen what we found so far. Who knows what's gonna be in this second half. In part two, we'll find cool things like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm Quinn, and this is Quinn's Coins. Stay tuned for part two.